Hello Juniors. Today we are going to talk about the arrangement of electrons around an atom. Um, remember as we're talking about this, you can pause the video, video at any time. Um, you should have your textbook open to page 131. Um, have your notes out. Take careful notes. And jot down any questions that you might have so we can address those in class when we meet together. The first thing that I'd like you to know about uh, arrangement of electrons is that the location of electron is determined by its energy. And electrons with similar energies are located at similar distances from the nucleus. Remember the nucleus has a positive charge, electrons have a negative charge, and that it is this attraction um, that keeps the electrons as part of the atom. Also remember, this is review, electrons do not travel in circular paths or orbits. Uh, we know the likelihood that we would find an electron at a certain distance from the nucleus based upon the energy of that electron. So, today we're going to talk about e energy levels and orbitals. If you'll look at your periodic table, um, when we talk about energy levels, there are seven energy levels that we will use to place electrons in when we're drawing models um, of an atom. The first energy level correlates with the first period or first row of the periodic table. The second energy level correlates with the second row of the periodic table. The third energy level, the third row, and so on. So there are seven rows and seven energy levels. The next thing we're going to talk about with electron arrangement are orbitals. If you will look on page 131, there are four orbitals in which we find electrons. The first orbital is the s orbital. And there is one s orbital per energy level. Um, the shape of this orbital is sphere-shaped, and you can see that from the diagram on page 131. The second um, orbital is the p orbital, and there are three p orbitals. Uh, we denote those p orbitals by the plane in which they're located. The p sub x orbital travels along the x-axis, and that orbital is dumbbell shaped. The p sub y orbital travels along the y axis. It's dumbbell shaped as well, as well. And the last p orbital is the p sub z orbital. And this makes it three dimension. Um, it goes in the z axis. The third orbital is the d orbital. If you turn your books to page 132, there is an image or a diagram of the d orbital. Now, those d orbitals, um, you don't have to memorize the shape of those. Where the s orbital was sphere and the p orbital was dumbbell shaped, don't worry about the uh, shape of the d orbitals because there's such variation. What you have to remember about the d orbitals is there are five of them. The last orbital is the f orbital. And don't worry about the shape of the f orbitals, but what you do have to remember is there are seven f orbitals. Now, um, make sure you write this down in your notes and repeat it to yourself many times over, but the maximum a number of electrons that you will find in any orbital is two. I'm going to show you on the periodic table um, where these, what section of the periodic table um, corresponds to each orbital. The s orbital can hold two electrons. This includes the first two groups on the periodic table. Remember, every energy level has one s orbital. 
the D, excuse me, the P, my computer just paused on me here, um, the P sublevel corresponds with this location on the periodic table. Remember, there are three P orbitals. And if each orbital holds two electrons, that would be a total of six. And if we count across here, one, two, three, four, five, six groups, or six total electrons in the P orbital. I say orbitals because remember, there are three P orbitals. Each one can hold two electrons. The D orbitals correlate with the transition metals. We said that there were five d orbitals, and if each orbital holds two electrons, that would mean that if I, I would have ten total electrons if all of these d orbitals were full. Five orbitals, two electrons per orbital. So two, four, six, eight, ten. A full d orbital um, will hold ten electrons. Now the f orbitals are down here at the very bottom of our periodic table. And the, there are fourteen electrons that can fit in the f orbitals. Remember there are seven orbitals and if each one of those held two electrons um, that would be a total of 14 electrons that can fit in those f orbitals. Um, we're going to pause for a minute and when we come back to the next video we're going to talk about how these orbitals are related to energy levels.